And there is help from right here in the two Virginias heading south to provide first responder assistance in Florida. A crew from the Princeton Rescue Squad will join the Hurricane Milton relief efforts. Local personnel are being dispatched as part of, a part of an agreement between the American Medical Response's FEMA contract. Our Robert Castillo sat down with the CEO of the Princeton Rescue Squad and shares more about it. A two-person crew from Princeton Rescue Squad left for Florida on Wednesday ahead of Hurricane Milton. That powerful storm plowed across the Sunshine State Wednesday night. The CEO for Princeton Rescue Squad says this is the first time the organization has sent people to join in hurricane relief efforts. When you see people that are going to lose everything and not have... Uh, possibly not have the means to get help or to get to a hospital or or, or to, to be rescued, um, that's when you know you, you feel that, that you need to do something. If we're in this profession to help people, um, it doesn't just just stop at the West Virginia state line. Brooks says his crew traveled to Florida alongside four other teams from West Virginia and Pennsylvania. Brooks says there was no shortage of people at the rescue squad who were willing to step up and help. While he can't name the specific crew members aiding in the recovery, he does say they are the most qualified to handle the situation. We have a true willingness and want to help. So, you know, just like here, all I had to do was just put it out. Who would like to go? And then, you know, it was just honestly wading through who has the most certificates and, and um, who come first. Brooks says a lot of work goes into figuring out the logistics and the paperwork in order to send a crew. He adds the choice to send a crew to Florida was completely voluntary, but the rescue squad is glad to help. Here for you in Princeton, I'm Robert Castillo, WVVA News. And Brooks says that he wants to ask the community for their continued support for those deployed first responders who headed south to Florida. He adds that local EMS services are not going to be impacted due to their deployment and it will continue.